Hey, how's it going guys? ET Autotaco.com. We are in front of the Sepia collection. You can see the really cheap sign there. And a discreet, discreet warehouse right in front of the train tracks. The lower one are the normal, the upper ones there are the bullet train, Shinkansen tracks. We got here about 11 and uh, he, he told us 11 they were going to open, but then we got here and he's like, oh, 12.30. So uh, we're hanging out waiting just about 12.10 now. So we'll get to this collection in a bit. Okay, talk to you guys soon. Bye-bye. Okay, we're getting a quick look before they open. Pretty awesome, yeah. Okay, now we're finally inside. We're going to take a quick walk down the middle of this Sepia collection. Sepia collection, I should say. And uh, this is a lot of unique cars here. Lots of... Uh, kind of cool really small like cartoonish looking cars which uh, especially that gray one right here in front of us that one I mean just several of the ones here just beg to be in the next Cars movie and actually I should probably have to go back and watch Cars uh, the one Cars 3 or Cars 2 I forgot which one that went to Tokyo and see if there's any similar looking ones and the kind of the most interesting one to me was that fellow buggy I didn't know it actually existed so that was kind of cool got a Ford over here to the left and at the corner you can see that the Z car over there. Toyo Pet right here and lots of cars are actually still under blankets and uh, so anyways this is kind of like just a quick first walkthrough and then we did videos of kind of individual ones that piqued our interest and uh, I think you guys will appreciate some. We got, got to hear some of the engines of some of these really old unique cars and some of them were rather funky looking engines so pretty cool stuff. But uh, I'll definitely do individual videos of, of the ones, like I said, that kind of stuck out to me. But uh, yeah, I hope you enjoy. And like I said, stay tuned for a lot more footage, about an hour of footage I took. So try to make it into small bits.